So it's officially our last day in England and uh, we did a lot of packing last night so we have a little bit of time to go for a bit of a walk and enjoy a little bit of Hampstead. Now on this walk <coughs> we've tried aggressively to convince our son to wear pants and a jacket. He's refused for a long time so the result is he's walking around Hampstead <laughs> with no pants on. We have brought the pants but when it's decided he's cold enough <laughs> See, I think we use it. We, I think we thought this was a tactic to be like, well, surely I within seconds, he's going. But no, <laughs> we're now without pads. No, we're just walking but around with our something. England, it's cool trousers without trousers. Without trousers. I see. He does. You're the only one on the street without pants on. Yeah. He doesn't mind. He's like, <laughs> he's he knows who he is. Oh God. I think it might be. <laughs> I think it might be time to put your pants on. I feel like this may have been a mistake. I agree. It's not one of my finer parenting moments. <laughs> it's just look, he it just looks like every trader, every trader who's worked on our, our house in the last year and a half. He looks a bit like the guy who did our paving. Yeah. They're just like footy shorts. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the no pants down. I was bluffing. He's gone one or two ways. But he called my bluff no, and now he thinks it's great to go out without pants. We are looking for Granny's Granny's houses. Which were down this road somewhere. That's 84, but we're looking for number 28. When was the last time you were in one of these houses? Well I was never in Oh, I know only as a very little girl at number 28. And then, when was the last time I was in the next house was when I was probably 17 ish. So that will be 60 years ago. Freud. As in Sigmund. As in Sigmund Freud. Well, he's, he's, he's not open for business anymore. So, oh it, no, it has the, it's got the name up there and everything. Yeah. So this was the house of Sigmund Freud. Next door was your granny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a museum now. Yeah. No way. My great grandmother's. So this was your great grandmother's house. That's a lovely little house, isn't it? Everybody. Photo time. We'll do one in this way. Selfie time, you ready? One, two, three. Cheese. Cheese. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cheers. So now we are visiting Kate's granny's house or your mother's old house, apartment. You said the first floor, right there. There you go. Has it changed much? Yes, because they built that huge building there, but otherwise, no. Yeah. It, it doesn't look like it's been recently renovated. <laughs> Dolly knew at the time. <laughs> Very splendid. Yeah. Are we going to knock on their door and say, can we have a look around your flat? We used to go in a, a while back. I, re I remember the noise. Of the, what, the flat? Of the yeah, well, they, they oh. love that. Now, 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 go away, you're dying. Is that it? No, you're going to die. That's the house. Oh, you're a joke. Is this the one you're buying? Yeah, I'm sorry. Why is she so? I don't know. Why is she so? You're kidding me. Yeah, you are. This is like a mad dream. Do you want to tap on the door? That's insane. This used to be my grandmother's flat. Yeah. She used to live here. Is, are you living here now? Yeah. Can I just look in the sitting room? One second. No, one second. I was here when I was a little girl. It's so nice. Come on in. I was here when I was a little girl. This is my used to be my grandmother's flat. See? And my mummy used to live. <laughs> <laughs> and, and 
I'm so sorry to intrude. I'm sorry to intrude no, on you. No We're on a trip down memory lane. <laughs> This is where Mummy's granny used to live. Very Thank nice. you so much. No Thank you for letting no us in. Thank you. We really appreciate are it. Are we going We are. Yeah. It felt, ex it felt, it felt exactly the same. Yeah. The aspect. The colours and the furniture. Yeah. 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 I feel like you need to explain what just happened. So we went back to, as you saw, we went back to visit Kate's granny and okay. granny's mum. So I'm so used to that flat. Right. I know, I've been in and out of it since I was a little girl. So we, I didn't press anything. I just walked up to the door and I wasn't going to press any buzzers. I don't know anyone that lives there anymore. But I was just going to walk up to the front door and look in at the foyer through the glass, you know, because I would have recognised it. But I walked up to the front door and the same sound that I've heard all my life for when someone buzzes you in, I didn't press anything. The door went, this is like, it's unlocked. So I knew what that meant. So I just pushed the door open thinking, oh, like I was, shocked but I thought well maybe someone was waiting for someone or something mm -hmm. so I thought well we're in now so we went into the foyer and we went up in the lift to where my granny's old fat was just to see everyone said to me what are we going to do I was like we'll just just go to the door yeah, the door was open <laughs> and these two to... nice people who let us and you got to visit granny so I think for it hasn't been explicitly said but granny is no longer with us so Kate feels like she uh let us in for a little visit <laughs> So our last stop on the tour for today, turns out, this is a much more adventurous last day in England than I expected, is the Abbey Road Crossing, it turns out, where the Beatles uh, crossed the road for their album cover on the Abbey Road album, which is sort of cool. It was just around the corner, so I've ordered the Uber to pick us up from there. And I feel like it's confirming that the unintended theme for today is snapshots in time, almost, like moments that um, mean a lot whether to personal people like seeing granny's flat or to a lot of people like the Abbey Road crossing it's quite surreal to sort of be in places where something happened or memories were made and now it's something else it's interesting so yeah daddy. maybe one day you say daddy maybe one day this one we'll look back at this video or any of the trips we've taken and sort of think back to when that when this was a moment in time. Yeah. She's tired, she needs a nap. Let's go look at a crossing and then we'll go home. Yeah. So I have a sneaking suspicion that that is the crossing because there is large groups of people on either side of the crossing and they seem to be stopping sort of in the middle to take photos. Oh, I think that's our Uber. Whoops. I also think it's quite funny that there's a perfectly good crossing right here with no one on either side. <laughs> Did you think it was that crossing? Yeah. They look alike. <laughs> All right, here I'll carry you. Come on, jump up. I got to. Whoa! Oh. It's a long walk for this one, but at least it's got pants on now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is it. You ready? Look at this. This is the moment. Everyone's going to cross. You ready? <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> we're not going to use the photo op, we just thought we'd come by here, but we're just going to cross the road. It's a perfectly good crossing. I feel about the same as when I was on the other side of the road. Are you changed forever? I, I've been, I used to drive past here every day. I'm not sure how you can drive past there, the traffic just keeps stopping for some reason. The famous crossing. This one's not as famous. No. no one's lining up outside of it. It's perfectly good. If they were going to do it again today, they'd use this one because the other one would be too busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that ironic? And yes. we're done. That's it. It's over. Say so bye. MJ just said bye, London, didn't you? Bye, London. 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 <laughs> Bye, London. <laughs>